Aaron, you look beautiful today. Jonathan, you could look better. <laughs> Jonathan, I want to give you some advice that was given to me on my wedding day just four months ago, and I've learned these two words. Yes, dear. They are definitely two peas in a pod. Uh, you can't, you couldn't get two people more exact and more opposite, actually. change meaning. A wedding ring used to symbolize possession and now it symbolizes choice. The choice to live, love, and be committed to one another and to forsake all others. Now it is a fact that when you hold hands, your heartbeats synchronize. And I think that's a perfect metaphor for what is happening right now. Two lives, two heartbeats, becoming one. Find time every day to hold hands, to center, to synchronize, to connect to me by the Commonwealth of Virginia. I now pronounce you husband and wife. May I kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Hicks. Jonathan, please remember, Erin can be a little erratic sometimes when she gets angry. She does very odd things, like shave off her own eyebrows. <laughs> because for some reason that gets the other person back. We haven't quite figured it out. But after he's had a few drinks, and he's a little toasty, he insists on wanting to take his shirt off. <laughs> No, but I really wish you two the best. Um, I want you to, to remember to always listen to each other, always respect each other. Um, I'd like to take a minute to toast to Aaron and Jonathan, long life and a long marriage and plenty of grandbabies. All I wanted for you was for you to be happy and it seems like you're happy. Keep that smile on Aaron's face. Aaron, you do the same. I love you both, and congratulations. Be quick to listen, be slow to speak, and be slow to anger. And Aaron Hicks, for the last time in my life, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Thank you everybody for being here.